We are out at the North Carolina Museum of History at their latest exhibit starring North Carolina. How many years would you say this exhibit spans? Um, I think the early, one of the earliest films we look at is from 1913. So, yeah. so over a hundred years. Over 100, yeah. How many films? Oh, over a hundred. We, we tackle over a hundred, at least um, with a prop or um, a film profile or interactive. So we're standing in front of the fire starter uh, portion of the exhibit. What makes this film so important to North Carolina? Uh, they were filming Dino De Laurentiis, who was a big producer at the time, liked this area so much that he decided to bring his studios to Wilmington, DEG Studios. And uh, that kind of, we kind of joke that it sparked as Firestarter sparked kind of the film industry in the state. Um, because after that, he brought uh, crew members from around the world to train locals. And that's kind of what um, created the really great film crew community we have in the state today. What we have in this case are two costumes from collectors who have loaned them to us. So these are people who love the movie so much that they have a piece of it in their homes. They, you know, have collected something from a movie that spoke to them. And the larger outfit here is something that Katniss wore in The Hunger Games. So this is a nice North Carolina con uh, connection. This is the outfit that she wore in the scene, the flashback scene, where Peta tosses her a loaf of burnt bread when she is starving and he saves her life. Uh, so this is a great piece that we have here. Uh, and then the little jacket is from a Hollywood classic from The Wizard of Oz. It's something that one of the munchkins wore in uh, the filming of The Wizard of Oz. So clearly two very collectible items and things that people have felt important enough to save and keep over time. You guys have a film series that's kind of in conjunction with this, correct? We'd like to highlight some uh, North Carolina made films. So we're showing them once a month on Fridays to um, just kind of highlight films like Maximum Overdrive, Bull Durham, Blue Velvet. Um, I believe we have Iron Man 3. They're trying to include um, a speaker to kind of introduce the film, someone who either had a connection to the film or maybe played a, a kind of a, a minor role in it or work behind the scenes just to kind of give a little bit more to the experience. So Robert Downey Jr. will not be joining us for the Iron Man 3 showing? Uh, I really wish. You never know. Maybe we can try to call his agent and see what happens. How long will Starring North Carolina be available here at the North Carolina Museum of History? So it's going to be up um, until September of 2015, but um, we're going to try to change out some of the costumes. We'll have some, um, some new stuff coming next year, so um, definitely come and then come back. I was just going to say, if you haven't been, definitely come out. So yeah. Thank you so much. We really thank appreciate you. it.